Hi, this is Raheem Sulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to create a slicer based on top end selection in Power BI Desktop. So let's get started. Let me give you a demonstration first. So when I click on five, the five categories based on total revenue has been filtered, right? Uh, both in the table and in the bar chart visualization. When I click on 10, so then top 10 has been selected and then there are total of 14 products here so how to create this kind of top end slicer uh, in power bi desktop so let's get start now first let me show you the data which i have imported into the power bi so i got the data in excel spreadsheet and it's related to the sales data where you can find uh, some relevant columns and these are most common columns if any organization works on uh, that kind of a data sets so what we are targeting is we are targeting to get the top n slicer in power bi uh, and we will be targeting this particular column that is category once you understand the logic how it is being created in power bi you can apply on any column if you want on your own data sets okay so this was an excel uh, file which i imported the data into the power bi so i hope you understand how to import you go to get data excel workbook and locate it and then import the data right and you can preview the data here as well into the power bi right the next step uh, which is very important is to create this slicer 5 10 15 20 25 okay so how to get start with it so for that you will go to home tab and you will click on this enter data so once you click on enter data it will open up a window of create table where you define the column name and then you can write like 5 10 15 20 uh, whatever you want to okay and then you also need to define the table name as well so i have already done that where it is you can see here this is the table name is top end selected and we have a column for top end okay and I can show you in the table view as well top end selected so here you can see top 5 10 or 15 okay now then we are required to create some explicit measures and those are four explicit measures which we will be required to fulfill this particular top end slicer okay so the first was that when I imported the data I have a column of revenue and i have created an explicit measure to sum the column of revenue okay so this is a very simplified uh, dax of sum so the first is the name of this explicit measure which is total revenue then i have used sum data is the name of table and revenue is is the column okay so it's the next explicit measure you need to create is uh, the name is selected top end and we have used a DAX called min and this is from the table top n selected and the column name is top n okay so this this particular part calculates the minimum value from the column top n within this table okay and the purpose could be like we are trying to use this as in a, in a dynamic top n or based on filtering or applying something in conditional logic so the minimum function ensures that the smallest value from the top end column is always used because if you can see on the screen uh, this is the slicer which we have just extracted from this column so that when i click on 5 10 15 definitely it will pick that particular value so the selected top end measure okay can be used in various calculations and visualizations to basically dynamically adjust the top and rows based on user input or selection and let me show you a demonstration for that as well the next explicit measure which we have created is the rank category this is the name of the measure and we have applied rank x we have to we are trying to calculate raw by raw so we have used rank x then all selected because our primary goal is to focus on category column from the data table and we have picked the total revenue as an explicit measure and for descending which is uh, from largest to smallest okay 
so what happens if i show you here in the filters if you can see we have uh, these uh, categories total categories okay in our data set and uh, we have a total revenue column as well so what rank category this particular measure is trying to give a number to each of the value of the revenue for against the category okay so if you can see the very first category is the beverages which has the highest revenue so rank category measure is giving it one as the highest rank okay then we have a second category sauces 72600 of revenue so it's giving us two so similarly this rank category is basically applied on a category column and what it's doing is based on total revenue amount it's being giving a, giving it a rank okay from highest to lowest then the fourth explicit measure which we also need to create the name of the explicit measure is include category and we have used the if dax so if the rank category is less than and equals to selected top n so provide one otherwise zero so what happens if you can see here when i click on five the include category applies one 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 uh, because i have selected top five okay so the logic here is that if the rank category number is less than or equals to selected top n so it will generate one so when i click on 10 now what happens you can see the one has been generated till 10 right when i click on 15 so it goes downward so technically we have just 14 products or, or technically we have just 14 categories in our data set right so again let's see when i click on 5 so it generates 1 1 1 1 till 5 okay now we don't want these zeros to be placed here because it will not be dynamic so we need to add another thing if you can see my table working here so see when i selected five now only five has been filtered and no zeros has been shown here so as we go previously the zeros are also here as well right we need to get rid of this so when i click on 10 you can see now 10 categories has been selected then 15 10 5 right so how are we going to do that what i have done is in the filters area in the include category i have applied a rule here so if it's greater than zero or less than zero uh, it, it would be hide okay we we need to get rid of this so so the include category will always show one here okay and then here now you can see because this rule has been applied on the include category so when i click on 10 the 10 top 10 categories has been shown here both on the table and on the visualization for 15 now you can see that so now it's dynamic top 5 top 10 top 15 right 